Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about LLC versus S Corp and why you should get it. Well, today I'm going to talk about LLC or S Corp for Rover. So if you're already on my channel and watching this video, it's probably because you're already part of Rover and you're wondering if you need an LLC or an S Corp. Well, hopefully I can help answer some of those questions. I actually don't know that much about S Corp because, spoiler alert, we did end up going with an LLC, so I do know a little bit more about it. But feel free to ask questions in the comment section. Hopefully someone else will know the answer to your question. So how I came about getting one was because I was working with a financial planner at the time, which I still am, and also doing taxes at the same time. So that was very fun. The financial people were asking me if... I was thinking about getting an LLC or an S Corp, but I was like, well, maybe I should think about it because I did think about it last year, but the Rover business was not that big yet. So I didn't think about getting one then, but maybe it's time to consider it. Hopefully this video will help you decide whether or not you want to get one and which one to get. We did get an LLC and I'll tell you the reason why. One of the main differences for an LLC versus an S Corp is the business size and how it's run. So, is run a word? I don't know. But anyways, how it's run. How it's being ran. I don't know. An LLC is much smaller scale version of S Corp, if you will. So an S Corp is more for like if you want to scale your business way big, 150 years of your business, shareholders, a corporation basically, an S Corp. But if you want to do an LLC, it's more expensive in the sense where you pay more taxes, but it is much smaller scale and you reap the benefits of an S Corp, but with less formality. So you still have a president and a vice president where you have meetings, but they're not like the formal S Corp meetings and you still have minutes, but they're more informal. So it's pretty much self-employed with one or two employees, me and my husband, and yeah, it's a liability thing. We did it mostly for the liability and here is the reason why. On Rover, you're taking care of little people, little dogs. They are other people's little babies and there's a lot of things that go into it. Accidents do happen and it's a liability thing, right? So Rover unfortunately does not cover you in those areas because it is a self-employed contractor kind of job. So you kind of have to fend for yourself and when you run things small, small, small scale, the risk of anything happening is pretty minimal. But when you have as many dogs as we have and we run it like an actual boarding daycare kind of home, which is awesome, there are bound to have accidents that happen. Fortunately, we have nothing of that scale that has happened to us, but it is an insurance, if you will. For example, if I didn't have an LLC, and something happened to a dog and a dog parent was furious. They are so upset, they need compensation, they will sue us as a company. And if we're not an LLC, they can sue us for our personal belongings, such as your home, your car, your personal bank account, etc. But if you have an LLC, they can only sue up to what your company has and its financial assets. If your company bank only has like $300, then they can only sue up to $300. I'm sure there's way more uh, nuances and things like that that I can talk about, but that's basically what our legal team shared with us. So that's how we understood it. Please make your own decision based on your own research. I just wanted to share what we did and how we came to that decision. How we got started with that was through a financial advisor, highly recommend because they talk about financial planning for the rest of your life, like retirement, life insurance, LLCS court, things like that. So definitely ask your financial advisor. I'm sure one of your friends knows somebody and they'll connect you with a legal team who knows what they're talking about since doing an LLC and S Corp is a legal action and you need a lawyer to do that. Highly recommend. We are actually in the process of getting an LLC right now. It's pretty fun. They'll ask you questions like what are your top three names for your business because you need to 
figure out what is already taken and what's not. How many employees, who's a president, who's a vice president, and your address. So that's up to you. For the address part, we ended up choosing to go with a PO box because once it's an LLC, your address will be public on the internet for people to find. You can either do a commercial building with another address that your mail can get sent to or a PO box. And with PO box, we found it easier. It's just a nominal fee to the post office and all of our federal and state paperwork gets sent to that. And it's just more manageable that way. And our personal address is not on the internet. To summarize, all in all, get an LLC if you want to protect your assets and that's it honestly protect your assets why don't you want to protect yourself it doesn't make any sense at the end of the day it is your decision it is a lot of work to go through if you only have one or two dogs but because we have multiple dogs in our home daily and it is our full-time job we highly highly recommend getting an llc to protect yourself because why not like why wouldn't you that's all. Thanks for watching.